Hey, what's up, everyone? You're here with the Puck Dogs, Chris and Rod. We're going to be taking a look at the the Columbus Blue Jackets. Excuse me, Columbus Blue Jackets and Seattle Kraken matchup, Saturday, October 16, 2021. Rod, this is you know it's a tough ask for the uh, the Kraken playing another road game to start the year and uh, against a Columbus team that's full of emotion and really delivered a punch on uh, on Thursday night against uh, the Arizona Coyotes. They did, and uh, but I think everybody is going to be. Uh... Arizona is going to be the punching bag for many teams this uh, season. Uh, poor Desert Dogs, definitely going to take a beating this season. But anyways, we're looking at this one in uh, Seattle. If you look, their first two games have definitely been competitive. Um, been one goal games in both. So uh, for me in this one, I think uh, if the price isn't too steep, I don't want to be laying like a minus 180, 190 here with uh, the Seattle Kraken. But if I can get a half decent price on the puck line, I think this is a one goal game. Um, you look at Columbus, yeah, just they, they won that game off of huge emotion. So uh, did they score, come out and score eight goals? I don't think so. I think that was uh, us showing that uh, Arizona is that bad uh, for Arizona. <laughs> I'm just using them as a punch of day. But I, I like this as a one-goal game, so uh, give me the Kraken plus the one and a half. I don't mind the Coyotes as long as I'm punching a bag of money or winning tickets. I don't mind. But... Uh... <laughs> I'm gonna go with Columbus here. I, if it's a one goal game, so be it. But I just you hear Elvis Merzlikin saying that he's gonna honor the late uh, Mattis Kivniex with uh, by by trying to win the Vesna Trophy in his honor. He was one of his closest friends, and the Columbus Blue Jackets, like Rod said, dealt with the tragedy. They handled it in a classy way on uh, on uh, Thursday night, and. While the emotion could wear off, you got to remember the, the the Columbus Blue Jackets are still at home for this game, so that emotion still could carry over. It's not like they're going out on the road and it was just a one and done. This is a team that could uh, could carry it over for a couple games. I'm not expecting the the Blue Jackets to 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 all of a sudden win that division, but I think they're going to get some wins. And early on, still riding the emotion for that ceremony on uh, Thursday night, the Kraken just haven't done enough for me to be you know, coin flip price. We haven't seen the best of Philip Grubauer and who knows if we're going to see Chris Dreger at all. He could start this game. Might not. Who knows? Check the, uh, check the goaltending report, check the injury report before you can start this game. Can't stress that enough, but, uh, Rod, I'm going to be looking at the blue jackets here for, well, like you said, a, a close nail biting victory. Yeah. I, I, I think this is going to be a one goal game. Like I said, one goal game all, all day. So, uh, I'm going to take the track and bust the one and a half. I do. I think, they got a chance to to win it outright. I think that 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 high emotion to come that high up and then to get to drop down the next game. Uh, I think this is a close, close tight game. Absolutely. So, absolutely. But is a game maybe we didn't we didn't totally agree on. But the ones we do agree on, you can find over at Pick Dogs Premium. You can get those as part of our Puck Dogs NHL exclusive package, as well as you know we, Rod and I both have our premium bets up there, as well as some of the best handicappers in the world up on the website. Let's go over and check it out as well as all the free content on the website, all the videos we got here at Pick Dogs YouTube. And uh, check, make sure you check out the morning show. Every morning, Monday through Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern, you can find Rod over there with the gang. You can find me with Tony T on the drive through Monday through Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern. And we're both going to be on the weekend show Saturday and Sunday at 10 a.m. Eastern. Thank you, everyone, for watching. We'll see you then.